word. Welcome to a special edition of the B-Side Word. <laughs> I am here with Emma. Hello. CJ. Hello. Maxi. Yo. And Alexander. What's up? I hear you ask, why is it so special? Why is it special? Dev, what is so special about today? <laughs> this is our fiftieth. This is our fiftieth episode. What? <laughs> I, I, guys, 50. I smell burning. The guys, big five oh. oh. The guys, big five oh. <laughs> That's half a century of episodes. That's half a century. <laughs> if you release one a cent, one a year. Oh yeah. <laughs> 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 To 50. Some relationships don't even last that long. Look at this. Look go at this treat I've been given on my 50th episode. Go, go, go. My, my my lovely girlfriend has bought me tea and some crisp bread with oh. see this? Oh. tomatoes and cheese. And that is one of the most special meals you can give to somebody in Norway. That is so lovely. Now I see your tea and crisp bread, and I raise you. Raise you a. Cake. Not a 50 cake. Whoa! Oh. 50 cake. That's awesome. Big 5 0. Big 5 0. It's melting. It's melting. That's it's awesome. Melting. It's it looks melting. like a number five from here, though. It's a five it and a zero. Like a five. It is a five and a zero. Oh, and a zero. That's a crucial the, part. The, the berries well, are the zero. Oh, it's a zero, zero red. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I didn't have enough <laughs> smiley faces. That That is awesome. And right. you did that yourself, awesome. or did? No, 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 no. That's from. Uh... I decorated it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, you decorate. You, you, you put the five and the zero on there. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, there, there will be a picture That's up amazing. on Instagram, on Facebook. What else? <laughs> hey, get a cool picture of it. Put your phone yeah. in portrait mode. Get the color We're gonna grading eat it right. All, guys. Make sure there's good lighting. <laughs> Hopefully, it's oh. still. You good. need a powerful light to overcome Actually, the candle lights. You see. What we need so to do. You need a direct light on it. <laughs> yep. Maxi. <laughs> We need you over here to set that up. But what we can all do is blow it out on three. Even you guys in Norway and England can help blow. Ready? CJ? One, two, three. <gasps> Let's get on to today's episode like the professional podcasters we are. Basically, for our six viewers, <laughs> the U.S. military wants mm -hmm. to create high-tech cyborg warriors. They want to create human-machine fusions. They want to create guys. the Terminator. I think that they saw the ad for Terminator Two and were like, "Terminator Two, the new Terminator." Yes, we Terminator can... Two. <laughs> Wait. What in nineteen <laughs> in nineteen eighty nine? What numbers? They, they've been working on it for a while. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he said Wait. in the movie. He said I'll be back. What number? And, he got, and the scientist goes, Yeah, you will be. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to correct you. I don't know what number it is. <laughs> okay, let me think. One, two. Then there's the third one with the girl. Fourth one. Fifth. Six. Six. Terminator six, and they said this is us. Can you go away? <laughs> Stop away. coming back. Terminator. Oh. Keep going. Yeah, I think so it's the sixth, fifth or sixth. Could be seventh. They keep making so what's going to happen with these cyborgs? What's right. uh, what's the? Uh, They're going to kill us. What does us that all. even mean? <laughs> That's what's going to happen. And this, by but the how way, do they, first, how do they create a cyborg? What is a cyborg? What are they? What are they making? Right. So this is according to the Army Times. Um, they want to make stronger military men and women. With heightened senses of, like heightened senses, so they want to make their hearing better, they want to make their eyesight better. Okay, okay. But what's the kicker? It, it, it's not Terminator. smell. It's um the Million Dollar Man. Oh, the Million Dollar Man. So, so they've been thinking about this from the seventies. <laughs> oh. So it's half man, half machine. Wait, the kicker. Oh, oh the kicker is they're gonna wire brains to their computers. Oh. Why are the military men personnel's brains to computers to have two-way data transfer 
Why have I seen this before? I don't I've know. I've seen this oh. as a movie. I know. And this is all they want to do this by 2050. And then from there, they're going to like start doing civilians, like still military base, but like the civilians and stuff as well and like kicking it up a notch. But this is according to the Department of Defense. And they declassified one of their reports on this saying that this is what they sort of want to do. Do you know what's happened? The military's got a nerd. A bit like me. His name's Clive, for example. <laughs> oh, I like the name Clive. <laughs> for example. He, he's, read, he's read a few comics. He's watched a few classic shows. Yeah. He's on. I can do that. <laughs> and good old Clive's like, yeah, give me 25 years. You missed. Sweet. So you missed <laughs> the suit as well, Emma. Which suit? Or the, the they're going to have um, like mechanical or whatever wear to make them stronger as well. Oh, yeah. They're going to be wearing like m- really modern wearables. Well, they're going to be wearing modern wearables. <laughs> modern wearables. <laughs> New wearables. <laughs> well, I seem like they're going to have a really good Apple smartwatch. <laughs> <laughs> no, I guess, I guess they'll be able to like, they'll have stuff that they're wearing and they'll go, Doo, and then, you know, I don't know, whatever that thing might do. What, what do we but think that thing like, might do? I think Clive should stop watching sci- science fiction. Who the frick is Clive? What I are like you saying, Clive. Maxie? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I was just interested about these wearables. Like what's... um. Is it'll it going to be, be? It'll be like Pacific what? Rim. I don't know exactly. Because one of the cool things about the wearables, like the Apple Watch and stuff, is the, the connectivity it gives you, like just through your arm. But they're saying they're going to connect through their brain. They yeah. don't need it on their arm. Yeah. Ha- has but, anyone seen so the I, video game Anthem? No. Nah. No. It's a terrible video game. <laughs> it looks like Clive has played a lot of it. <laughs> yeah. Wait. <laughs> can I give a, a fact on that um, Anthem bloody yeah. video game? Yeah. So during the Black Friday sales, it dropped down to four dollars, and people still not buying it. <laughs> I know. It's still four dollars too much. Wait. How much is it usually? <laughs> they will give it to me for free, and I still don't. <laughs> this video game I had looked at the. Um... So we'll scratch them off our um our sponsorship, eh? Because they're not going to. Oh, they're not going to. From what I'm about to say right now, they're not sponsoring us. <laughs> um, I was looking forward to this game. Yeah. Because I play Mass Effect. Yeah. And it's the same creators as Mass Effect, right? Yeah. For like ages. And I was like, this game's cool. They've got all these suits they can put on. You can upgrade your suit and the weaponry and all that. Two years later, it still has to come out. Kind of gave me a, a bit of a indicator that it could be stuffed up. Yeah. yeah. And then I figured, like when, when I see a game that has a release date. Yeah. And it gets pushed back. Yeah. Push back. Yeah. Push back. Yeah. I start questioning it. Yeah. And you were right to question it. Yeah. Yeah. And then the game came out and I read the reviews and it turned. Uh, Did you so play the game? No. But from what I oh, heard Siege. from what I heard, I wasn't wasting the four bucks. <laughs> <laughs> four bucks. <laughs> <laughs> so so this wearable tech that the the army's got right now, and like it's it's effed up that they're gonna use it for war, but eventually it'll get trickled down to civilian life, right? Like people, instead of using forklifts, they'll be like, they'll be the, they'll use their arms. I don't yeah. know, whatever. It'll be like Iron I'm Man. Saying, just yeah, pick that's up true. Things. Just pick up things, you know? Well, Iron they, Man. They yeah, you're right, Iron that, Man. Like with the, two, the data transfer with the brain's computers, whatever, they, it's going to be like an instantaneous transfer. And for example, they'll have the soldiers controlling pilotless vehicles just like, with their thoughts. Oh. Yeah. Like, like Iron Man. Go over there. Like Iron go Man. Go over there. Ah. Yeah. Like the Matrix and Iron Man. But have then you ever they seen, think it's like... Did you ever see the, the TV show Chuck? Uh, uh yeah. yeah. What? Where he's the driver? Sort of. Like he's a yeah. he's a, a no. mailman. I, isn't he the so guy, Chuck like, was a guy, he was like a... He worked at like the geek desk yeah. at like a, um, like a tech shop. Like yeah. a Best Buy or whatever. And he accidentally ends up getting picked up by, was it the government? Like a secret area of the government. And basically they program his brain so he learns skills and things like crazy quick. Like he just watches like a few seconds video and now he can do like martial arts and stuff. So oh, it's like, kind of like, like the, the Matrix uh, uh, the TV precursor version. He's yeah. crazy. Yeah, he th- really is. I think Chuck's the guy that plays Shazam. No. Oh, yes. I think, yes. yeah, that yeah. guy. Ah. Huh. But like, what, um, what do you think about this? Though? Is this like morally wrong, or well, that's something the article says? Is it's... it goes? What about the ethical and moral framework of doing what this kind of thing? Once you then you can read somebody's brain. 
Yeah. That's crazy, man. And not just that. No, you, but maybe they these can people, just... Are they still hu- human? I no, they're got... human machine. Yeah. Mach- they're cyborgs. Mach- cyborgs, as I mean. They're yeah. still human. Come on. No, no. Have they changed a part if, of them, are they? Well, they reckon if, that... Yeah, if you're, Dev goes if there you're and wiring like, into we're their gonna, brain, we're going to put something in Dev's brain so we can un- hear what he's thinking and he and we can tell him what we want him to do like instantaneously. Yeah, but When like, that transition happens, you're like, oh, Dev's a cyborg now. Yeah, but like, I don't really... Because being human, you have a freedom of choice. You can choose to do it or not. Cyborg, you kind of being controlled. Yeah, but so that's I wonder, asking well, this. So I Dev wonder has if this, the computer uh, operation can... done. Is he now no longer human? You're yeah. like, Dev, you're not human anymore. But you yeah. know what? Let's uh, take it take it more from a or less from a less literal sense of control and more of a type of people who go into military anyway are a bit more Jarhead. Jarhead. Ooh. Yeah. So now if you do that. I feel like the level of persuasion and influence you'd have over them, with that included. Well, what's his gonna... general sweeping statement we're making about military? Yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's... actually, I take that back. Like, <laughs> still, like, I take that back. You still have a freedom of choice, like you know. I just thought you I was... choose well, to you... leave. I, I, I when just you're thought in the about military, the you don't have freedom of choice. I do. You, you yeah, give but... up. Yeah, but wait a sec. Do you reckon the computers could actually take over their brains or no? That's what they're basically doing. If they're going to wire them to computers. No, but that's just more for like, yeah, but is it more like one way? Like, okay, uh, my thoughts are going to get transferred to the computer or is it two ways? Like, okay. Well, it says it's two ways, but. See, once once they start wiring them up, I I assume they're going to take away the pain factor. They want full pain. They want full empathy. What? Why? Why would they just stop them? Feeding? Pain's an important response. Yeah, it is very, very important. Uh, yeah, very important. Pain. <laughs> yeah, but like if they're cyborgs, and no, maybe it middle, isn't. Maybe they won't, it they won't isn't. need pain anymore. No, maybe oh. they don't You've want pain. Straight, I think you heard the word cyborg, and now I've just created a whole new <laughs> a version robot. of what this is in Mate, your head. If I was creating a cyborg, I'm going all the way. <laughs> You're going all the way. All okay, way. I got you. Maybe they oh. are like we change their bones to metal bones. Yeah. Give Game muscles impact. that can jump higher than buildings. Wait, 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 wait. So I, I know where your head's at. So Maxi, you're saying that it's just like an arm changes or something? Like, uh, are you? They, I'm asking not... what, like, what? Where's the line where you say they're no longer human? I oh, thought that was quite a right. bold statement to be like, where's they the put something in the head. But what I think, I don't think, I don't think it's going to be possible in the next. I mean, I'm not an expert in this area, but I don't think it's going to be possible in the next thirty years to physically control someone's brain in the way where. You know, like you can say, move an arm or make this decision. Like, do you know what I mean? For but them, what yeah. can happen is if you can talk to someone's brain and you give them a certain rhetoric for months on end of just how you talk to them, that can condition them in a psychological way to do things which they wouldn't have done before they had that operation. Yeah. Inception. In and the same also, way, when you go to the army, they drill into you just verbally, like ways of doing things. Now yeah. they're in your head and they can just have things playing to you whilst you sleep and all the other things. So, psycho- psychologically, they can sort of control you. Oh, you yeah. just, and, you just but, threw um, something out there. I hadn't thought about the information what? they're given while they're asleep. Yeah, that's oh like God. Demolition Man. That's you a know, giant when they went window. In, they were crazy. Like, in the, did you they were frozen about? up. Seriously, Clive is watching a lot of movies. <laughs> this Clive. I have a movie. This, this, this is going to turn into a movie, right? <laughs> by, by the way, one minute. Warning. That was an extra special one. Thanks, Sage. Man, Ooh. you're going big on the 50. a new <laughs> movie. The cyborg s- turns bad, right? That's every movie. That's wait, wait, wait. <laughs> haven't finished. That's like... And because he can control, like, stuff with his brain... Maybe he can go back in the future? No. He sends a plane, but he's obviously not in the plane, and he decides that he wants to crash it on his own camp, and they can't stop him, because if he was in a plane, someone could reach over and go, No! But it's in his mind, and he crashes it in his camp, and they're like, we can't go back. What do we do? Wait, this is a movie idea? Yeah, I bet you... I thought you were telling us about a movie that was coming out, and I was like, this is a terrible movie. Yeah, this is a terrible... (laughs) (laughs) All right, so what's on my mind? What's... On my mind this week is I thought I was closer to someone as a friend, but I wasn't. Who are we talking about? Whoa. So that's so sad. That's, yeah. Well, how far away are this they? This circumstance. It, when I tell you this circumstance, it makes me look like a dickhead more than the bloke. So 
the guy this week. <laughs> this week, my f- um, I found out through a friend of a friend that uh, my friend had a motorbike accident, right? And my first my first reaction was like, "Oh shit, is he all right?" But my second thought was like, "This motherfucker didn't tell me." Oh. <laughs> Because I thought we were friends, right? So I thought we were friends. Anyways, and uh, I was kind of hurt. And then it went back and I said, I hope he's all right. I hope he's all right. No, no, focus on making sure this guy (laughs) is okay. So... (laughs) So he had a like bit of a. I'm fine. Stop <laughs> fucking whinging about it. So, <laughs> so if he didn't actually have a motorcycle motorcycle accident. The guy pulled out in front of him and he broke in front of it, but he fell. So he <laughs> still slid for like. Uh, oh. Yeah, he slid a couple of meters, not not down the road. That's an accident. Yeah, it's an accident. Yeah, but he didn't okay. hit the car. He just, anyways. Um, and then when I saw him, <laughs> saw him right, and I asked him, I go, man. Why didn't you tell me? Like, uh, this is a few drinks in. I forgot that we were at the bar and, like, I didn't want to say it straight away. But after a couple of drinks, I asked him. I go, why didn't you tell me? And he goes, what did you want me to do? When I was falling, dial your number? (laughs) 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 And I went, went, no, fair enough, fair enough. I just just didn't (laughs) like hearing it off the person that I heard it off. I was like, how come he knows? What the? (laughs) Anyways, my thing is, is there people that you thought, uh, that you thought you were friends with and then you end up not being as close as you thought you were? Is there any circumstances mm. like that? Do you have to have friends for this to be an issue? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Alexander. That is so Aww. deep. <laughs> Man. And the answer is yes, so we rule you out. That is the weirdest uh-huh. thing I, I've ever but heard. I don't, I don't <laughs> think you should be called by your friend if they've just b- slid yeah. past a car on a motorcycle. No, it's not no, that. No, it's not that. It's like it's because the other person knew. knew. Yeah, it's a, yeah, but it's another person. He tells one person because they happen to be around him. Like, oh, what happened Tuesday? Oh, I nearly got hit by a motorcycle. That's what he says, yeah. and that goes somewhere. Yeah. Sorry, it didn't land on you first. But that's what I'm saying. It should have. I don't think it that's should have landed for him on me. to have okay, to tell it's you. It's not all about you, mate. <laughs> I know. That's why I said, guys, I gave a preface that it's going to make me look like a dickhead <laughs> well you were correct <laughs> fair fair point fair point well made so is there is there guys is there any situations like this no nah, i guess nah, there's situations a- a- where like so you were funny. close friends yeah you were close so yeah where you were close friends and then then it just changes over time and now you're like we i know we're not close friends anymore but i don't know what the rules are because we used to have this like different set of rules and somehow yes. over time we have this new set of rules and I don't fully understand what those new set of rules are. So do you yes. ever hash it out? <laughs> Would you ever say, hey, can we rewrite the rules which we never actually wrote in the first place? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like dating. <laughs> no, but I think close friendships can sometimes <laughs> be like that. It sounds like it's a booty call, like we rewrite the rules. Like, I mean, like there's no breakfast. <laughs> dating or friendships are all relationships, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. They evolve into, like, you just... Like you, I guess you just do what's natural, and then it's a case where one person thinks you're on a different level than the other person, right? So that's where it gets like, ah, oh, oh wait, I don't know. People get hurt, I guess. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. there's yeah, I think yeah. I was gonna say I think like this is probably gonna make me sound the other way of being arrogant. Like what you're describing, Dev, I think is what m- most of my friendships are that way around with people thinking of me. <laughs> like the amount of times people have. <laughs> considered me a friend and i'm like what <laughs> nah like I, I know you but <laughs> oh, you know this is going to be aired yeah alex are me and you friends <laughs> well i mean i know you <laughs> of course Holy no smokes. you know what it is it's because there's a lot of i feel like i've come across a lot of people you know like you talked about unlikely friendships where, but not counting when you're in school and stuff yeah like most people I knew in school, they weren't friendships, they were acquaintances. Mm. And I last I just kept the dynamic as that. But to them, we were like friends. I remember like I'd get Facebook requests and I was like, nah, like I don't no, like, we're not. No. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah, we met today. Even and a Facebook had request a chat, was like, that's too much. <laughs> um I I only saw that I mean, later friends- on though, Alexander. I only saw that uh, my friends that I had in school were acquaintances. I never, I never realized like I never, you know, you said you kept them at distance. I never ever, 
I was never yeah. ever like that. I was like, yeah, we're friends. And then afterwards, reflecting back, you're like, I only talk to that guy because we're in school. 110%. If I saw him walking down the street, I'm not talking to that bloke. How about the bloke who's now like, a girl? I mean, don't, yeah. don't get me wrong. In the moment, like, we, we were acquaintances, but like if if I saw them, I'd have I'd have interaction with them. I have a really good conversation and stuff. But like I'm not I'm not telling you like details of my personal life and like I'm not I'm not leaning on I'm not going to come to you for advice or I'm not yeah. like we weren't friends. Yeah, and that's, like there was there wasn't that dynamic. Okay, Dev. This next article is your article that you've brought to the table. This fiftieth birthday. Episode, <laughs> not birthday. This fiftieth yeah. episode. <laughs> so Wait, what? how long will we be doing this? <laughs> so what's it about? Hey, what? <laughs> just because it's the fiftieth episode doesn't mean things change. <laughs> he just read the heading and there was something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what? the heading, Dev. You could say the heading at least. Ready? Do you remember yeah. the heading? Jewel thieves just pulled off one of the biggest art heists since World War Two. Wow. Wow. Ooh. Yeah. Exactly. What, tell me, what did they steal? Art. It's in the title. No shit, the Sherlock. The biggest mean, like, <laughs> they stole the biggest picture. Or the they... biggest mean, was it monetary value? It yeah. was I was going to say, they, they uh, didn't steal art. Well, they? that's what, okay. Yeah, 100%. You're right on the money. They ha- they stole no art, even though it's an art heist, what? which is a bit strange. I guess um, you, hold on, hold on. I had someone, <laughs> so I, I asked the question, so what did they steal? And Mr. Smarty Pants over there, art. <laughs> <laughs> there was no art stolen. So how does, th- how does that apple taste? <laughs> apple of redemption. Fuck it to you. How does it taste? <laughs> taste that apple. <laughs> what they did do is a priceless amount of diamonds and rubies it actually is worth hundreds of millions of euros and this happened in uh dresden in germany at the grün gewölb which basically means the green vault museum it's not a very good vault if you can get in this two stuff <laughs> i don't know that... makes, is, why is it called an art heist is it because it they stole it from a museum, museum. i think that's why i think that's why yeah and maybe okay. i mean you could consider these these diamonds and rubies as pieces of art. No, you, you know, can't. people go up and they just <laughs> look at them. No. Um, <laughs> Do you know what? It's just made me like the title. I've just realised is confusing. I didn't even clock that. Jewel thieves art heist. Oh. Oh, we should have picked up on this. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even. See, I didn't even notice that either. Um, but this is like something from the movie. So they got in. I think they broke a barred window, smashed some <laughs> display cases, left off with the jewels, and the police arrived five minutes later. And there was music playing in the background, going dum 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 dum. But you know what? Tom Cruise <laughs> is now the official suspect of the diamond heist. <laughs> But the thing is, guys, they haven't even caught the thieves. The thieves are still running. Uh, I don't know about this article. <laughs> what do you mean? This true. happened. Yeah. And actually, so they stole a hundred pieces of 18th century jewellery started by um, Augustus the Strong. Right. Okay, 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 okay. So they stole these bloody um, um, these diamonds and rubies and all this kind of stuff, right? Why? Like, who do you sell it to? Well, that's the thing. Apparently, they, it's hard to put a value on what, they, how much they stole because a lot of it is literally priceless. Like, no one would buy. You couldn't sell the stuff that, that, that's been in there. So this what they reckon they'll do is, like, break it all down into little pieces to be able to sell it. Uh, don't worry. I say, this is, this is when I read that in, gonna the line, s- in the article. They're gonna send like, that's just, that's an overzealous historian saying something stupid. Of course, of course, you could sell it. Um, yeah. Yeah. They said the reason they say that they can't it, it, they can't put a value on it is because of the historical value, the h- historical context yeah. of it. And it's yeah. like, yeah, jewel people who buy jewels and diamonds don't care; they yeah. will still pay for jewels and diamonds. Yeah, uh, that's and also there's a lot of people in the like a black market which will will appreciate the historical value true. and buy it for that reason as well. So then it would amplify the value. Yeah. There's like people that will steal pieces of artwork by Da Vinci. 
See, all right. So, so yeah, you see on the black true. market, right? I always have this thing. Like you, you, you see it on the black market, and you buy it on the black market, and you take it home. And who are you showing it to? Like who are you your inviting over your house? Friends. And then going, ah. Oh, they got lots that, of people. Wasn't that stolen off the? No, <laughs> I, I had this earlier. I bought this last year. <laughs> That shit got stolen. <laughs> I don't if know. You're that's totally different. Black market auctions, which are sectioned off with tigers and stuff like that, then your friends are. How do you know they're sectioned off with tigers? <laughs> Have you been? I to can never black imagine a black uh, a black market billionaire talking the way you just did then. <laughs> then. <laughs> I just like, imagine. I'm going to like this. This is like in the middle of Russia, like in some mountain, <laughs> yeah. this massive mansion. And you walk in and you question this guy and his artwork. He's like, oh, uh, no, I, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> what you about I mean, artwork. it wasn't me. Uh. <laughs> His artwork queen. <laughs> I said they're going to use um, Europe's top detective to find out. Inspector Clouseau. <laughs> <laughs> he always finds diamonds. <laughs> Oh no! There's the, the Americans are producing Inspector Gadget now, so he'll he'll yeah, be on the scene. That's true. <laughs> Those extendable arms. That's true. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but for sure, um, this is going to be some. This is going to be a big event. People <laughs> flown in. Uh, uh, yeah, it is. The guys be like, uh, "It's raining diamonds." I got a question. I got a question for you, right? What? If you were a thief, yes. Oh no! Wait. Could you be a thief? Could anyone be here on this podcast be a thief? Yes. No. Are we talking like a Snickers bar from the local corner shop? No, no, no. We're talking about Ocean Eleven. We're talking about Mission Impossible. Like what a George, big, big. Like George Clooney, man. Yeah. You walk in there, like, hello, lady. I, <laughs> my heart rate I is could, like, What do you mean I could be a thief? Like, I, I, I'll tell you what. Ethically? Yeah. Go on. What was that? I heard I tell you what the, <laughs> the horse. Okay. Who's do you mean ethically could I be a thief? Or quality-wise, skill-wise? Uh, no, no. Stamina. Uh, what am I doing? I'm thinking could about I, afterwards. Could I hold a thief's diet? Right. Afterwards. About? Like always looking behind. Always. <laughs> what are you always looking behind for? Because you're the Oh, th- you're talking about being on the run. On the run. Yeah, could you live uh, a life? How would you... Okay. Uh, they don't know who this person is, right? This is this instant. He's not on the run. <laughs> He's on the <laughs> He's run. He's on the run. You, you best believe that he is n- sleeping one eye open. He's not, he's not at the bars buying champagne for everyone. He's not that kind of guy. <laughs> yeah, so he's probably at home right now watching TV. Sitting in his couch is like a million dollars worth of diamonds. No. And he's like, man, this rock is hitting my ass. They're doing <laughs> shifts looking out the blinds. <laughs> shifts. Because even I- like, even if you made an, like, you, so say this, this heist they just did, if they sold it for hundreds of millions and now they could go get like a private island or something where they don't have to watch their back. But. Is that a quality of life? Like, yeah. is that worth it? I don't know. One minute warning. I guess they can go and buy that mask that that guy's selling and just go anywhere <laughs> they want. <laughs> I think once you, <laughs> yeah. I think once you get to a certain level of rich from being a criminal, then you can just pay off anyone most people around you. Mm. And not just that, the guys well, who you did this are professional, right? I don't know. But it sounds yeah. like if they're going to a place that's called the Green Vault. You're not going to get, like, Dougie going in there. <laughs> Dougie. <laughs> Dougie. <laughs> Dougie. <laughs> we, 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 we call this Hitachi drill. <laughs> just the lock, you know? <laughs> Wearing thongs on the way in. You know? <laughs> yeah, going, excuse me, I'm come to clean the world. <laughs> <laughs> in the evilest voice you can do. Excuse <laughs> me. You, you get that reminds me of Despicable Me, the, the, yeah, that character, you, you, the you're evil getting guy. getting someone who's doing this for a living. Yeah. So most likely they've done this a number of times. You reckon there's people like, you know, the yeah. Italian job and like Ocean Eleven that actually plan this stuff? Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. How Definitely. many like how, was how many of these? Planned. Come on. Think about this, they right? They probably planned this. Do you know, do you know if I... Oh, oh go on. This is well. <laughs> go. <laughs> Siege. Although I didn't really need to do one job in this sense. Now a lot of the times they get caught. Yeah, they got to make. They planned this with a chalkboard and <laughs> a chalkboard. <laughs> <laughs> and a mm. like I was gonna say, have you seen? I'm not sure I agree on that. <laughs> um, for six what's months, the, Driver Baby. What's what's yes! the film called? Dr- yes! uh, baby Driver Baby. Baby, baby Driver. driver. Baby, baby, baby no, Driver. Baby Driver. Yeah. If now, if I was going to be a thief in any kind of heist, I would have to baby it with the music. 
Like I'd have to. Yeah. That'd have to be part of my yeah. process. Yeah. So yeah. what you're saying come is, in. they're like, you don't hear that noise in between. <laughs> in between, he's, he's breaking. Oh, I think dance someone's break. going to rob everything. You know, <laughs> you know actually, that's a great. Que- uh, that's a great question, Alex. That what if you could be a thief? What kind of thief would you be? So Alexander's the driver. <laughs> okay. Oh. Ah. Alexander probably shouldn't become a thief. He's six foot six. He's kind of. Don't stinky. worry about that. Let's say he's, a, <laughs> he's black as well. That doesn't help. Do you know? Do you know what this it, was like? He'll get, 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 get done on a random search. <laughs> <laughs> that was the whole thing when they said, um, like, uh, Idris Elba being James Bond. Yeah. yeah. Like, but he could, he could, he could run around the corner and then they'd just go, "Oh, where is he? Lost in the crowd." Oh, he's the black guy. Go. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what I said. Like, I, I like Idris Elba as a, an actor, right? And I think he'll do a great job as James Bond. Yeah. I just think the countries that usually film James Bond in yeah. are predominantly white. Yeah, because right? uh, James Bond so is on the Cold if, War, if, isn't it? If, if James Bond is the black guy, he's easy to figure out which one he, he is. is. James Bond is <laughs> like, even <laughs> like, if you took me you and for? I was on the road, black guy. Even there if it was a predominantly <laughs> black country and like I ran around the corner, they'd be like, oh, where is he? Oh, he's the tall guy. Go. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like yeah. you need to be able to blend in. <laughs> yeah. This week on Max Facts. Max Facts, Max Facts. Special edition. Max Facts. 50th episode. <laughs> Five, <zero. laughs> 50 shades of Max Facts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this isn't my 50th Max Facts, though, is it? No. no. We didn't no. do this from the beginning. No. Yeah. We should have. Okay. That's a sad. That's sad. Okay, but so my, my Max Facts for this week is, is that... Alex, can you run as fast as Usain Bolt? No. What? <laughs> I'm maybe like over a mile. Oh, probably not 100 well, meters. Though. This is there's some there's some big broad assumptions here. But if you could run as fast as Usain Bolt, which is 27 miles per hour, and you did that pace all the way to where I am sitting right now, you would still have half of the last episode to listen to if you played all of our episodes from number one to number 50. Oh, <laughs> oh wow! What? Wow. Wow. How on earth, Maxie? How did yeah. you calculate? So you go on to go on to <laughs> Apple, go on to the iTunes or wherever you get your podcast. Put on our podcast. Run to from number one. If you're in London, just start sprinting as fast <laughs> as you can and do that all the way. You got to jump on a ferry between London and uh, Netherlands, and you got to jump on a ferry between Denmark and Oslo. But if you do that. You'll be on our very last episode and you'll be hearing this fact as you arrive into Oslo. And you'll meet wow. up with Maxi. I will give you the rest of my champagne and finish because it's not very nice. That's, that's a bang that's, on par. That's that nice. is crazy. Like that. that is some good factual information. That is the Maxi. best fact. Okay. <laughs> since we're, and you know since what? We're that's, that's an original fact too. <laughs> very original. How are we going to Google that? Fact. I Googled that one. We have to jump on the plane to go to London and then run <laughs> yeah, that it, it was on Reddit. <laughs> Reddit said, uh, I'll give credit to Reddit for that fact. There was a guy called at Johnny, Johnny Malone underscore 43. He said, he said that fact. I just took it straight from him. Yeah, but how did you figure well, he said out? If you, he said if you listen if you to the listen B-side to word the B-side. From <laughs> first episode to the last one, where Alex is, <laughs> to where Max is. Uh, I'm reading a bit weird. Yeah, that's what it Maybe says. one day someone <laughs> will, 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 will do these facts about our podcast. Was it Clive? I want to see if, anyone's, uh, if any of our listeners, any of the six listeners, are going to actually fact check that. Can we do a call to call? Call to call? <laughs> a call to, isn't it a call to arms? No, can we do a call to... Uh, cool. Action. <laughs> action. Call to action. Guys, <laughs> if you actually like listening to us, post a comment, share it with your friends, and don't forget, you can also send us articles and we can, uh, we can discuss it. Will- this next article is about Thanksgiving. Now, I thought it was pretty sweet, to be honest. And we don't celebrate Thanksgiving anywhere else in the world. I don't think. I'm not sure. No, no. They ce- celebrate it in one country, don't they? I'm pretty sure. No, they do actually celebrate it in other countries. Oh. So. Which ones? Well, I know that Canada does, but there are other, other countries. Like, we used to celebrate in England. You, you know what Canada's Thanksgiving what? is? They're not American. And they've got health insurance. <laughs> 
Oh, man. Medicare, you know? <laughs> Shit, Zeke. And a great education system. You Hopefully, do we don't have any American, American listeners, listeners today. Listeners. I don't know who you haven't shat on today. I don't know. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the 50th episode. Everybody's I think it's only it. the United States and Canada that celebrate it, oh, according to Google. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll just say, doesn't um, Canada have a great education system? Yeah. <laughs> and doesn't America have a shit one? <laughs> so. How about 20-year-old <laughs> man, Jamal Hinton, um, got a text back in 2016 mm-hmm. from this lady called Wanda Dench. And she was just inviting him to Thanksgiving dinner. Only problem is she thought she was texting her grandson and not some random guy. <laughs> so when she realized she had she had made this mistake, I guess she was embarrassed. So she was like, he still invited him, right? Didn't know who he was. <laughs> um, lo and behold, this guy, Jamal, lives in Phoenix. She lives in Mesa, wherever that is, or Mesa. It was about an hour and a half from each other. And he went to her Thanksgiving dinner and has been going ever since. And not only that, what? they formed such a, an incredible friendship. They text all the time. He even takes his girlfriend now. They went pumpkin picking, like... Talk about an unlikely what? friendship. Oh, th- and <laughs> this is a twenty-year-old guy, <laughs> black guy with a, a a white grandma, and she's like, "Well, I that's love what story. grandmas do. We just feed people." <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to say this right now. Yes, Jamal had no plans that day, didn't he? <laughs> 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 and like, like Jamal was like, "Hmm, sit here, do nothing, or go to some random lady's house and get food." <laughs> And he's just going random lady. I just feel like I can actually envisage her like going, oh no, I sent somebody a message, but I've just, I just, I didn't mean to, but I don't, I feel too bad to say, sorry, you can't come. Like I can't uninvite this person. We better bring him. And the family's like, grandma, what have you done? And then he shows up and everyone's just like a little bit awkward. <laughs> I, I, I was going to say, you know what would be even funnier? If Jamal's like six foot six or six foot seven, a big black dude. He is. Comes in and everyone's like white and everyone's looking up like, oh crap. I'm presuming that's kind <laughs> of what this guy's it was huge. like. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just really sweet and like it, it went viral. So the first but, thing But wait, 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 wait. So Jamal got this message from the grandma. Yeah. And he ignored it or he replied? He probably straight, was like straight away? Um I'm not sure. No, he he replied. He, he replied. Probably like, I'm so not... I, I've actually I've actually been following this for a couple of years. Oh now. a couple of years? Yeah, because it went viral on Twitter like a, a while back. Wow. Now. Oh. Um, after that picture. So when I saw it, it came up again this year that he went back again. I was like, oh. this, is so, this is so cool. <laughs> wow. I know. That's crazy. I would. So they meet up. They meet up like, um, I think it's like once a month and they go to like dinner and stuff like that. And oh, um, they meet like Emma said, they went, they went like um, pumpkin picking. But she, so he went with her pumpkin picking for her husband and his girlfriend um, so it's just yeah it's just like this like it's clearly an actual friendship yeah. it's not just yeah <laughs> it's, it's it's quite sweet when you think about it you can follow them on That's... instagram at king jamal 08 he's definitely 20 you put king jamal in it <laughs> um <laughs> and i was gonna say he looks like he's a grizzlies fan so i, w- I would have just picked him out for that what do you mean? <laughs> Where are you? Like, like a grizzly fan. Yeah. Uh, As in he likes bears? What does that mean? <laughs> nah, see the jersey? Isn't that like an old grizzly jersey? Yeah. It looks like it. Uh, I don't know. Well, I don't even know what sport that Basketball. is. Basketball. Basketball. Okay. Memphis. I'm very out of touch. Imagine his American girlfriend, sports. right? She's like, oh, where are we going? And he's like, oh, we're just going to Wanda's house. Who's Wanda? Oh, just this grandma Did I met lady. Did like, <laughs> Like what's going on? Here? I think it's lovely. I like this it, story. it. It is a lovely story. How many random messages do you get that you ignore? A lot. I've had a couple. None. None. <laughs> I've got a, uh, currently. I have a, my phone number used to belong to somebody called Steve. <laughs> 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 Are you being for real? <laughs> what? Was this for real? Are you for real? Oh, yeah. <laughs> my current phone number in Norway that I have. It used to belong to somebody called Stig, and I keep getting messages from various companies. Not really people, though. Does, does Jeremy Clarkson text you? Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say. We've got our very own Stig oh, yeah. here. 
No, no it turns out Stig didn't never contact his co-hosts or anything. He just uh, he gets a lot of messages from like I don't know subscription services <laughs> that he hasn't paid. Oh no! <laughs> or <laughs> <laughs> things along those lines. Uh... It's really Tom Cruise. But when we were <laughs> so when we were kids, we we used to we all all of our friends texted like. This is going to be a bad story because I can't really remember the ending. But <laughs> this is what we try to do. <laughs> we texted our phone number neighbors. So that, you take that your went phone viral number. this year. Wait, what? You take your phone number and then you text a person like with the same phone number, but the last digit is one up and one down. Oh. And that's your phone number neighbor. And you text them with like the hope they reply. But no one replied to mine. And I can't remember the end of the story. Wait, but I know some, one of my friends recently got a text from somebody saying that they were their phone number neighbor. Like, <laughs> hey... Just wanted to say hello. <laughs> I'm your neighbor. Like, imagine if you accidentally hit on like Bill Gates or something. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> they did that. So this went on Twitter. This went viral again. Like, I think it was probably like August or something. Because I tried it and what? I didn't get a response. <laughs> okay, but like, would you be like, sorry, I have used your number before? You know how when people ask for your numbers and you just like give yours but change the end, <laughs> change the last digit. No, so no. that they can't actually okay. contact you. <laughs> okay, okay. We, I'll tell you we what, are this guys, is actually right? brilliant. The, We've uh, never done that. This was um, a Tinder story yeah. where <laughs> I, I saw this the other day. A girl convinced a guy that then her number was his number. What? So she didn't have to give it to him. <laughs> 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 what? So he was, he was like asking for a number. And she was like, um, she, she was like, oh, what's yours? And he gave it to her. And she goes, no, no way. That's my number. And he was like, what? No, that can't be. And he's like, She's like, yeah. He's like, I, I, look, I just tried calling you and it just, it didn't work. It went like straight to voicemail or it did something. And he goes, oh, I just tried calling you. It did the exact same thing. No. <laughs> so she's like, <laughs> what? <laughs> she played it off and convinced this lad that they're what? the exact same oh. number. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm going to be honest with you. You know that guy? He dumb. <laughs> <laughs> he's straight up dumb. No. Wait, no. Here's a question for you. Here's a question for you. From the people that you've met after school, out of your friends after school that you've made, how many of them were unexpected? Like since leaving school. Since leaving school. Because when you're at school, you're forced to talk to the people there. You have no choice. But after school, like people that you thought you'd never ever talk to and all of a sudden you became friends with. So basically, what is your m most unlikely friend? Yeah. Or describe your most unlikely friend. That, that I went to school with. No, that, that you didn't. No, that, no, you made a friend. You've met since. Met, yeah, since school. I I would guess any of you three over there in Australia would be up there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is You're so right. true. That is. Yeah. That's it. Actually, even even me and Maxie. Yeah, you guys met on a runway. We met, we met doing a fashion show. <laughs> uh, hold on here. You guys met doing a fashion show. Uh, for bags. For, for bags. Yeah. yeah. The most masculine yeah. for handbags. product. For happy yeah, for handbags. <laughs> masculine. <laughs> Mas ma is that masculine product? Masculine. Masculine? <laughs> Mom, uh, I mean, when you say like masculine, it does sound like. <laughs> the first time I met Alex, we were discussing how to make our muscles look better as we walked out <laughs> this on the stage. Yeah. <laughs> verdict to like turn it in like this i was i was actually really impressed with like maxi to me seemed like a really outgoing person at that time uh, it, it, i was like this guy is something about him like, <laughs> Wait, like you know we had you know we at did the like time? <laughs> we did the, at the time? The dancing and you were just like yeah just you know <laughs> i was so self-conscious about dancing topless on stage modeling handbags <laughs> It, it sounds like you guys. I don't understand why anyone would be self-conscious about going <laughs> topless on stage modeling handbags. I'm not sure why. <laughs> What's oh the problem? gosh, has anybody got a photo of this? <laughs> I've got a DVD of the oh, event. Oh, we so got to see that. <laughs> you have a DVD? I've not even you've watched put, it. You know. You've got to put snippets. Can you play the DVD and then record it on your phone and send it WhatsApp? Because I'm going to put it up on the YouTube yes. page. Yes. Where do you play DVDs? At your mum's house. At your mum's house. You don't have a DVD player. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's an insult, but true. But what? Everybody has DVD players, no? <laughs> and if it's a VCR, you grab Everyone's mum has a DVD. <laughs> and unfortunately, I mean, you're also oh, a mum. Oh, my goodness gracious. <laughs> <laughs> so insulted. <laughs> I think 
my mum still has uh or she I think she got rid of it now, but do you know those when it was DVD and VHS Combo. players yeah. in one? Combo. Mm. That would be a good one to have. That was extreme. That took out like the whole <laughs> bottom of our <laughs> TV yeah. bench. I'm not gonna, like, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. We got one. <laughs> the combo. You still got yeah. one. <laughs> yeah. The old combo. It's good oh, to that's have. Amazing. Yeah, it is. We don't have any VHSs <laughs> now, but why is it good to have? Like Netflix the old family then. videos. You can't like what you're gonna you play. Your family on? videos, basically. Oh, yeah, we still know. got CDs. Yeah, we still have family videos on VHS yeah. at so uh, our parents' house. You, you, yeah. you still want to see them every now and then. You have to um, you have to get them converted because yeah. they end up yeah fading away. Yeah. Like. <gasps> you got to get them converted. Okay. All right. They they have about a fifteen year shelf life. Oh, they're probably We're already done then. That. <laughs> 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 no, I made that up. I was just really scared. I don't know what the shelf life Interesting. is. Interesting. Some last better than others. Depends on as long as you kept them in the vacuum case. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching this week's episode of the B-Side Word. Make sure if you enjoyed it to hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe and drop us your thoughts in the comments down below. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. Hit the bell.